The social proof add-on for the WP Travel Engine plugin allows you to display real-time notifications of the user activities on your website, such as trip booking, trip inquiry, and trip review. Just as the name suggests, these pop-ups work as a social proof of the customer interaction and conversion on your website for the website visitors. This further builds up their trust in your business and inclines a potential customer to buy your product or package. In this video, I will show you how to install and configure Social Proof add-on step by step. Please note that Social Proof add-on requires WP Travel Engine plugin version 5.0 or later installed and activated on your website. Let's get started. First, you have to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Go to Plugins, click on Add New, click on Upload Plugin, click on Choose File, select the zip file that you downloaded, click on Open, and click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. The Social Proof add-on has been successfully installed and activated. Next up, go to WP Travel Engine, click on Plugin License, enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Now, click on Save Changes, click on Activate License, the Social Proof add-on license is now activated. After activating the license key, you will be receiving regular updates from our team. Now, after you install and activate the Social Proof add-on from under WP Travel Engine, you will find the Social Proof menu. Click on it. Here, you will find the Social Proof dashboard. The Social Proof dashboard lists the notifications you created using the add-on and also provides an overview of the total view count, click count, and click through rate generated from the added notifications. You can also enable or disable a notification created and also edit, delete, or generate a duplicate copy of an added notification. You can create three different types of notifications using the Social Proof add-on trip booking notification, trip review notification, and trip inquiry notification. Now let me show you how to add the notifications. First, we will add trip booking notification. This notification will be displayed whenever a customer books a trip on your website. So click on add new notification button. Now you have to select the notification type. The trip booking notification is selected in default, so we will click on next and move forward. Then you have three different types of notification styles that you can select from. Let's go with the first one and click on next once again. Now for the content editing option, you can enter the content or create a template for the notification pop-up. You can use the available tags to display customer-specific information. So as you can see, already the tags have been used like first name, trip name, time, etc. So let's see, we want to add in the last name as well. So I'm placing the cursor right where I want the last name to be displayed. Let's give a little space. Then I will select the available tag last name and just click on it, which will then be inserted here. Now when the notification displays, it displays like the customer's first name, last name, made a booking of, the trip name, and the time at which the trip was booked. After you are done, click on next. Now for the display settings, under visibility, for show booking of option, you can choose to display the booking notification for all trips or the selected trip on your website. This option is only available when you choose the trip booking notification option inside the notification type. We will select all trips. Then you can choose to display the notification either on all the pages of your website 
or only on a single trip page. Let's go with everywhere. Then you can also choose to display the notification either for everyone or only for the logged in users. Let's select everyone. Click on next. Now for the customization under appearance, you can select the position of the notification from bottom left or bottom right. Let's go with the default position. You can set the notification size by setting the maximum width value in pixels. For the notification from here, you can increase or you can decrease it. Now, from the mobile visibility option, you can enable this option to hide the notification on mobile. I will leave it disabled because I don't want to hide notification on mobile devices. Now, under timing, you can select delay before first notification. So from here, you can set the time in seconds, after which you want to display the first notification once a site has loaded. So let's select the delay as 5 seconds. Let's decrease the time. Then from display for, you can enter the time frame for each notification to display. Again, you can increase or you can easily decrease it. Then you can also select the delay between the display of each notifications in seconds from here. Like the other two options, you can either increase or you can easily decrease it. From under behavior, you can select the number of latest bookings you want to highlight through the notification. By default, the number is set at 5, you can always increase or decrease it. Then you can enter the number of days to display the notification from from here. You can increase or you can decrease it, just like the other options. Finally, you have to click on the publish button or you can click on save as draft depending on your requirement. Now we will return back to the dashboard. And as you can see, the notification for bookings has now been added. Please note that whenever a notification is added, its state is set to disable by default. Therefore, you will have to enable it manually on the social proof dashboard to display the notification created on your website. So just enable this notification by enabling the toggle. Now, let's go to our site which I have opened here in the new tab. Then I will go to trips and I will book one of the trips. Let's book the third trip. And I will add in the billing details. Now the booking has been made. Now let's go to the home page and let's see if the notification pops up. And here is the trip booking notification. You must have noticed the notification popped up only after a few seconds. That is because we had set the notifications pop up delay as 5 seconds. Now let's go back and we will add trip review notification. Trip review notification will be displayed whenever a customer leaves a review for a trip on your website. Please note that if you want to use this notification type, then make sure that you install and activate the WP Travel Engine Trip Reviews extension on your website. So I'll just go to Plugins. From here, I will activate the Trip Reviews add-on. The trip reviews add-on has been activated. Now go to WP Travel Engine, then go to Social Proof once again, which will take us to the Social Proof dashboard. Now the process of adding trip review notification is the same as setting the trip booking notification. Just click on Add New Notification. Then from under Notification Type, you have to select Trip Review Notification. You must have also noticed that the trip review notification can only be selected after installing and activating the trip review extension. Click on next. From under design, let's select the notification style. Let's go with the third one this time. Click on next. Inside the content editing option, you can enter the content or create a template for the notification pop-up. Just like before, you can use the available tags to display the customer specific information. Just like with our trip booking notification, I will add in the last name from the list of available tags. Click on next. You can select the visibility. 
you can choose to show the notification everywhere or on single trip page. Let's select everywhere. You can select to display the notification for everyone or only for the logged in users. Let's go with everyone. Then from under appearance, you can select the position from bottom left or right. Then you can select the notification size. You can also choose to hide notification on mobile by enabling the toggle. From under timing, you can set the delay before first notification. By default, it is set at 10. We will just set it as one second for the trip review notification to display. Then you can select display for the number of seconds from here. Let's select 15 seconds this time. And you can select the delay between each notification in seconds from here. Let's go with the default timing. Now from behavior, you can select the number of latest bookings you want to highlight through the notification. Then you can also enter the number of days to display the notification from. Let's click on publish. Now we will go to our site in the front end. We will go to trips. Then let's review the first trip. Scroll down, go to the review tab, which displays after enabling the trip review add-on. Let's add in the review. Now let's go back to our dashboard. Then we will go to the social proof dashboard. And we will enable the notification for reviews by enabling the toggle. Then we will go to the comments and you have to approve the trip review that you have just received. So for that, just hover your cursor around the comment and you have to click on the approve button. The review has been approved. Now let's go back to our site. Let's go to the home page and let's see if the trip review notification pops up. And it has popped up along with the trip booking notification. Let's go back and go to WP Travel Engine, then go to Social Proof once again, which will take us to the Social Proof dashboard. The next notification type is the trip inquiry notification. Now, just like with the trip booking and trip review notification, the process of adding the trip inquiry notification is the same. The trip inquiry notification will come into action when a visitor or customer submits an inquiry for a trip using the trip inquiry form. To make it more clearer, let's go to our site in the front end. So go to your trip page and let's assume that your visitor wants to inquire about this particular trip. Now when they send their inquiry with the help of this form, and click on send email back to the dashboard and if you add the trip inquiry notification that particular inquiry information will be displayed on your website just like the review and the booking notification to add the trip review notification you have to click on add new notification button then you have to select the notification type as trip inquiry notification then you have to go with the design, you can select the design of your choice. You can set the content. You can select your display settings as well as the appearance, timing and behavior options. Then you have to click on publish. If you come across any sort of difficulties while creating the trip inquiry notification, then please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. Now we will go back to the dashboard once again. As I mentioned in the beginning, the social proof dashboard also provides an overview of the total view count, the click count and the click through rate generated from the added notifications. If you wish to edit any one of the notifications, then you have to click on the edit icon here and edit that particular notification. Back to the dashboard. You can also generate a duplicate copy of an added notification by clicking on this copy icon on the notifications. You simply have to click on the copy button and the notification will be copied. Back to dashboard. 
If you wish to delete any one of the notifications, then you can click on the delete icon here, which will delete the notification added or created. So that was it about social proof. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. If you have been liking our videos so far, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Please help us grow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.